Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing how to replace the uh, Ram truck 1500 um, air filter and we're going to be replacing it with the uh, Ram, I mean K&N uh, high flow filter uh, that I just bought from Amazon. I'm going to put the link in the description so that you can buy it. If you do um, want to replace it just like I do, please use my link. Um, I get a little bit of credit from Amazon from doing that. It helps support making this video. Anyhow, um, let's get going. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is locate the clips. Uh, there are a few clips here. I think three of them. Um, one of them is right here. You're just going to flip them over. And then the other two is right here and there towards the back and all you have to do is just snap them open you know what actually hmm my truck is missing the one at the back I'm not sure why and there's one more right here towards the side okay once you get those clips removed this should pop right up Okay, maybe not that easy. Let me see if I'm missing any. All right, so I got it open. Basically, there's a, a clip here on the front. There's a clip here, one on the side, second one on the side, one at the back, and then there's another one right here on this side, and that's it. Those are all the clips there is. And uh, once you get that open, those clips open, the, uh, the air filter uh, would just show up. You'd be able to just pick it up, the cover like this, and uh, we're gonna just replace it. Okay, this is not that bad. It's not that dirty. So we're just gonna put that aside. And while I'm in here, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the vacuum and start vacuuming here while I have this open. Inside here, there's a, kind of like a grid structure and there are dirt trapped inside this grid structure. And uh, I'm just gonna brush uh, all around here and vacuum it while I'm here. Make sure that everything is good and clean. Okay, we got the uh, the compartment cleaned. Now all we have to do is just drop this in. Uh, so the way that it, the uh, the original one came out is that the lip, so the bigger part, the lip is on top. This is brand new, so there's nothing I need to do except to just drop it in and make sure that uh, it should be a, a perfect fit. And so far, it's looking good. I'm feeling all around the sides and it's basically a, a perfect fit. So next thing I need to do is just close it. Um, there's no particular way of doing this. Uh, there's just, you just need to make sure that it feels correct, that the uh, slot lines up perfectly and that should be it.
I got everything hooked back up. All the clips are in. The clips were pretty tough, especially the ones over here. Um, I, I have to make a correction. There is no clip over here on this side. I thought there was. Yeah, but there is no clip on that side. So there's only one, two, three, four, four clips that I can find uh, in my truck. This is again the uh, Dodge Ram uh, 1500 2015 eco diesel um, one two three four clips and the way that uh, there's a tip here of, of how to put this together uh, more easily rather than struggling like me so this is my first time and I struggle you have to put this side first so this side kind of tucked in once that side is tucked in then you bring it over and then that's why all the clamps are on this side which makes sense so once you, that side is in, tuck it in, press it down, and you should feel that the uh, the two uh, top and bottom part kind of feels like it, it's fitting like a glove, and that's that's how you know that is is actually uh, fitting correctly. Okay, well that's it. I hope this is worth it. I'm hoping to to get the better airflow out of this k and air filter. I bought this for $52, $52 and something on Amazon. Again, I'll put the link in the description uh, so you can buy it for yourself. And uh, if you do, please use my Amazon link. That would help me out. Uh, let's see, it comes with some of these paperwork here and also a, a sticker. Um, yeah, I don't need to do that. I, this, these filters, by the way, the K&N, uh, they're washable and reusable, but you have to use their solution. There's like some kind of uh, chemical or filter that you need to, uh, not, not filter, chemical spray that you need to, uh, to use after you wash their filters in order for you to bring it back to the uh, normal uh, quality uh, that it should do its job. So make sure that uh, if you do have a K&N um, air filter and you want to reuse it, look for the K&N um, filter recharge kit or something like that. All right, well, thank you for watching this video. And um, if you have any uh, questions, uh, please use the comment to, uh, to ask those questions. Otherwise, I hope you find this video useful. And um, if you do, please hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel. Thank you.